Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today we're taking a look at the Gen 4 MagVault from Zero Wireless. So it seems just like yesterday when I actually made a video on the Gen 3 and not long after that they actually contacted me and advised me that they've actually created the Gen 4 and they've sent out a review unit. Now for me here in the UK it does take a little longer to actually arrive so I have already seen a few videos on YouTube with the Gen 4 but just to run you through the sort of sequence of things so this was the Gen 1 so the original one came with a stand that allowed you to actually pivot and rotate it. It was rel relatively compact and the capacity within it wasn't that great in comparison to the, the Apple MagSafe charger. Then came Gen 2, which looked and performed much like the Apple MagSafe battery pack. And it was, it was just a cleaner sort of setup, no longer came with the stand, which obviously did bulk a few people. To rectify that, they came out with Gen 3, so this was a bigger design and this one did actually come with a built-in kickstand which you could operate just like that and the capacity was also boosted up, I believe this is a 5000 mAh pack. Now coming on to what they've actually sent me, so firstly when you order it you do get a dual pack so it does come with a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, braided cable. Um, I, I've commented before, these are really, really good quality cables. Um, and I, I tend to use these for other things as well as just charging the, up these devices as well. And we'll go through the actual unboxing experience. So very similar to previous ones. So you do also get a shorter USB-C to USB-C charging cable to make it a little bit easier in order to charge up the device rather than having a longer cable and then you get the actual battery pack itself as well as some paperwork so just having a quick look at the paperwork there giving you details so once again very similar so it does come in a sort of velvet pouch that'll help you keep it protected whenever you're you're traveling and this one as you can see compared to the previous generations is a lot bulkier um, it comes with a similar sort of kickstand to the last generation. So it does give you the option of using this as a kickstand in two, two orientations, I believe. The last one worked. But as you can see, the front of this one is very different. And the reason for that is this is actually three in one. So not only does this charge your phone via MagSafe, it'll also charge the watch, the Apple Watch, and it also charges AirPods as well. So firstly, I'll just drop on the AirPods and it is magnetic. It does stick on, as you can see just there, and if I pop, push the button to activate it, yeah, we do have some charge. Now the AirPods are fully charged, so it may not want to accept any charge. Here we have it connecting to the phone, and as you can see, the, the magnets within it are very, very strong, strong enough to actually hold the phone, even upside down. So very strong magnets. Uh, once attached, you're not going to have to worry about this not charging or not aligning properly. It does snap in quite good and looking at it, it does appear to have the additional location magnet just at the bottom there as well, which should help to actually snap it in, in the right orientation as well. I do feel obviously right now I've got the silicon case on which is probably helping this a little bit um, in order to add even more resistance from just spinning round. And finally, if we take a look at the watch, so as you can see, the watch also fits into the little sort of divot that it is there, and that allows you to charge the watch. What I'll do is I'll put all the charging specs on screen, but I believe it does charge everything up at pretty decent rates as well. This particular battery pack has been upgraded from 5,000 up to, I believe it's 10,000 milliamp hours. So it has got a little bit of extra juice. That does mean it is a little bit heavier. It has more functionality as well. So you can charge all three devices all in one rather than having to carry separate cables or anything like that. This, this just does everything all in one. The extra little sort of pattern in, ingrained onto the back of the, the kickstand does give it a little bit of extra grip as well and it also keeps it elevated off any surface when you have actually got it connected as well. 
So yeah, that's my first look at the Zero Wireless Magvolt Gen 4. If you do have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. As always, I will obviously have the links for purchase in the description below. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any up and coming videos. And I really appreciate if you also give this video a thumbs up. And until the next one, thanks very much for watching.